Hey, this is GW Nugget with BDIM 4X Adventure. That's Big Dreams in Motion. 4XAdventure.com. Yeah. We just finished up an awesome Labor Day weekend here at Sourgrass, California. And uh, just wanted to share our adventure with you. And we have this wonderful waterfall back here. Some rapids. It's a great place. Great people, great time. So enjoy the uh, video behind this. God bless and take care. BDIM 4 byadventurescom Daddy, where huh. are you going? Going on a road trip. Do you want to, did you want to come? Yes. Well, come on along. <laughs> Up inside, let's go together. You ready for an adventure? Yeah. All right, let's do this. So, uh, dear Heavenly Father, thank you so much for this this time to be able to go. I didn't I didn't know if we were going to get to go, and things just kind of lined up, and and, um, and we're actually going to get to go. I'm really I'm so excited. Thank you so much. Yes, yesterday I had to get a new battery, tighten the tie rod. No, sorry. Straighten the tie rod. It was bent. It was bent by that much it went. And then I checked the wheel bearings. And of course, if you check the wheel bearings, they're always going to be loose, right? Wheel bearings, tie rod, new battery. All for free. Thank you, Lord. So we had a warranty on the battery. Ah! So we're going, we're going to... Do you have a warranty on this battery too? It's the same warranty original, so it's a three year started last year, so we still have like a year. <laughs> anyway. Okay, good. Um, yes, praise God. So we're gonna go to Sourgrass for the FJ45 run up there uh, east of Stockton. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're gonna go through gold country Jamestown, Sonora, Snelling, Lagrange. We're going up there, and uh, we're also going to hit uh, a place called Mercer Caverns up there by Murphy's. That's it. So let's go. Yeah, let's have fun. All right, let's go. All right, we're doing 70, averaging 13 miles a gallon. Not too bad. Passed through Merced and we saw a sign that said Snelling, 15 miles. So we're on the other side. We're gonna start heading toward the gold country. Fun, fun, fun! <laughs> Heading up through a scrub oak area here. It's beautiful. Yeah, Dad really likes this. Imagine this in the springtime, all green. I like scrub oak elevation. <laughs> I'm kind of partial to it because that's kind of like where I grew up, scrub oak. It's usually what, 2,000, 2000 feet, 1,500, 2,000 feet elevation. Should have been in that, in that other store, hunt With the other, with the clothes.
Clanky. Oh. <laughs> I don't know why these are so entertaining. I remember being up here when I was your age. I got a sarsaparilla. My first sarsaparilla was up here in Kalinga. We're in the museum. Chinese ledgers. Search for gold. The mother load. What is it? Seat town, seats, towns, camps, highways, towns. Gold rush. State parks. It's over here, Gab. Gabby's first sarsaparilla. Ever. <laughs> it's actually really good. I can't see it through the screen. You can probably see it on the camera. Let's see. Yeah, pretty good. Mine came in here and we went down into this inside of this bridge and walked all the way to the end of it inside the bridge. It's hollow. There's a bunch of graffiti. And how people were living in there and having bonfires. Pretty crazy. Felt really like evil and eerie. Nice.
we're at the day use of sour grass. Trailhead right there. So we're gonna air down a little bit and head on in. <laughs> Sourgrass to use. N502 trailhead. I get that marker. Five and Mambo. Alright, here we go. That was the gatekeeper right there. No, there is the gatekeeper. This gate. Where's the keeper of the gate? Oh. I'll find my cookie. Look, Ma, one hand. Mm. A lot better than I thought it would be. What? I thought this was a dirt road. I would have liked it if it was a dirt road. Oops. Bump. Pop, pop. Oh, oh, on my toe. Ow. <laughs> oh, really? This thing landed on my toe. Oh, it was my toe. Was it really your toe? That was your toe. I thought it was my toe. I must feel your pain. Oh, don't tickle me. <laughs> <laughs> you won't get tickled. I bet you're, you're silly. You will get tickled. Gabby keeps tickling me under my armpit, the one that's holding this camera. How am I doing? Is this staying steady? Am I succeeding in my plan? I like this trip. I'm not sure I like the whole driving part. Huh? Oh, I don't really like the getting to camp is a four-wheel drive trip. Oh, see, that's the best part. It makes it more secluded, more quiet. Well, you can't bring a trailer back right here. Who said you can't? Did the gatekeeper tell you that? Uh, yeah. The gatekeeper. A little birdie who was the gatekeeper told me that. Hi. Anybody want to tell me what that suspension pop is? This is my third suspension and it does the same thing. I think it's the car. This one, I'm just getting tired.
as we progress the trail, up the trail, the water is rushing more and more. I'm getting louder. We're almost there. We got about another two more miles. show you our view from the tent. Pretty incredible. The river. Yeah, I'm glad we came up here. Nice spot. The camp's right there, that yellow tent right there. You heard the roaring of the rushing water through here last night slept slept really good
What's up, kid? Not much. I burnt my tongue. Yeah? Yeah, that way you're talking like this. <laughs> that wasn't funny, was it? <laughs> uh, man, this is great. You know what's quite amazing is there's this much water coming down and it's September 1st. We are now approaching fall and there's this much water coming down. That's awesome. Oh, so look at this. If I was daring, I'd love that. I'm not. So he's not. I'm not. So I'm not. <laughs> What'd you find? We were driving along and I saw that thing laying on the side of the trail. That is it just was, a good story. It was point down. It was, is it, it was, true? It's true. Is it yeah. true? And I said, Tristan, hey, go see if that's a Toyota one. He's like, yeah, it's a Toyota one. I said, put it in the trailer. Who's good to you? But then we drove a little farther. Who's good to you? And God was so good to us because we hit like a bunch of bumps. All right. And then we got the one bump and let's, the trailer broke. Let's see the trailer breakage story here. Those bolts pulled right through. So no. Hitch. So these were okay, see these are these are like grade five, right? Yep. So, so what kind of bolts were in there, Don? Who knows? Unknown grade. Smooth top. No name. Probably grade two. What grade is that? Yep. And there was a quarter inch one. Not a, not a five sixteen. And a five sixteen. We Who's with it. you? Who's with you? My Lord knows the way through the wilderness. Dad. 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 Well, what was that word I said Dad, one I time? What, what did I say? It was Are you... But he said two blowouts Dad, with me. these tires. Yeah. What was the word? I mean, I'm going to pause it. I'm going to pause it. I remember now. He's exasperating his, na uh, his, his angels. Look what we have here. Ooh, perfect. Where are you gonna hang on there? I don't know. Myself. No, I'm just kidding. Alright. So here's our campsite. It's right by the water. Can you hear the water? Absolute amazing spot. And there's a lot of people here now. All over the place. It's Saturday. There's the rig. Somebody's happy he's got a knife. He's got to poke something. <laughs> it's like a kid with a pin. What am I going to draw on? Don's got his infamous trailer and all his boys, and he's setting up camp over here. I think he should go there and there. What do you think? Anyways, later. Dink, dink. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> what? You okay? Coming into the park oh. a little bit. Okay. <gasps> what are they doing, Britt? It's good to have friends, huh, Don? So is this the DC straight current setup? 24 volts. Is this a scrambler? <laughs> Pretty sick.
Delft wagon. Doesn't look like 37s, does it? Give it a rest. A 60 with the diesel in it. Turbo. So, Steve, how long have you owned this? Uh, I've owned this since about 92. It's cool. Second owner. Set stock for a long time. And I got totally wild and crazy. And really made it an off road truck by putting on an old man who moved two and a half inch lift at 33s, right? And it's set stock for a long time after that. Nothing much else going on. And then eventually we put the ARB on, and then it was really an off road truck when we got that bull, bull bumper on, right? But the two boys drove this as their high school rig. And then I was debating about what to do with it, and finally just decided to sort of go all in and make this my, my midlife crisis project. <laughs> so we did the diesel and the snorkel and the long range tank and something like that for a long time. That's awesome. That'll buff out. What are you talking about? <laughs> Justin yes. asked me to crank it. It's about an inch uh, higher. Give it another inch up front. I probably will. Uh, Any arms range. inverted. It's got the uh, really airbags in the rear. I don't know if you saw that. But oh, actually, I didn't catch that. There's airbags in the rear as well, so I can, so when I load it up, I can <sighs> get rid of the tag. Gotcha. The uh, filler ports for the airbags are inside the gas door. The filler is okay. There. Oh, it's so, a little too strong. Yep. Yeah, and then the air will stop flowing and off. They like turn off the AC and leave the air on. Let it, let, let it melt all that out. Yeah. So you went with the Chevy front TRE. Those are set up. Um, made by a company in stock and down the road from George. They're not really Chevy tie rod ends. Um, that big guy. But that central canister unscrews from the housing, so when you replace the tie rod and you replace it on, it screws in and out of that shaft down to it. Mm. I have to look into that. What, do you know the name of it? Uh, I do, I just can't think of it right now. George would know. The build was to keep it as low as possible to front 37 plane. Mm -hmm. Center gravity down. And too much off camber stuff that I don't want to. Well, yeah, the lower the better. That's what I thought with mine. It was for the longest time, it's the whole build. I was spring over. Yeah. I put 37s. The thing just it looked like it was going to fall over. It looked like a roller skate. Yeah. And finally, I just I pulled the trigger on the spring back and spring under. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's a night and day difference. Airbags. Sway bar. <laughs> <laughs> Front wheel drive, dude. It'll burn them like shit in the rain if you turn off the traction control. <laughs> yeah, you. DBTI, man. You pulled up the double. Stop rolling around and talk to Bob. <laughs> oh, I'm like smacking the gas. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm going to give you that sticker that says I used it. This thing looked just like a regular old 60 when you walk up to it. Man. It'd be probably towards like the top two or three that's got the most work done on it around here. Who did all the axle work? Uh, Dominic. Oh yeah, Dominic. He's great. Another 60.
Got a shot of camp. Kids running through there. River having a great time. Quick and dirty kitchen. There's the uh, LX450. I've been fighting to get such a shady spot, but I've been fighting the sun, trying to get some solar just to keep the battery from dying completely. We got Don's 80 here. Kids got the RC cars, tents, Don's trailer. Peace, silly right, guy. We got a highly acclaimed, notable RC car event. Is that a cap? That's finish lines? Wait. So 6-2, 6-3. 6 minutes and 3 seconds. There we go. Okay. 6 minutes and 3 seconds. 6 minutes and 3 seconds. With penalty. Okay. And then the deep cut next. Yeah, deep cut next. Here's an 80, but you wouldn't ever recognize it from the back end. Got some Subaru Brat seats. Looks like a 83 or 84. Set tires we got decent, decent positive offset. Stock suspension. With wow, um, what's all those spacers? Looks like about six inch, almost, huh? Bump stops on the stop. That's crazy. I don't let the bump stops are on the back. Size tires are these. 39 crawlers. Thirteen thirty-eight swamper. Sweet.
pretty clean one, huh? Very clean. Last year was... Um, Hey, this is Gary here with BDIM4BuyAdventure.com. It's uh, short for Big Dreams in Motion, 4 by Adventures. It's our new website. And what we have here is Rob. And what's the name of your vehicle? It doesn't really have, we just kind of call it the Beast. Uh, it's a 1967 Toyota Land Cruiser FJ45. Uh, we've had it for 14 years. When we bought it, it didn't run. And in that time, I probably logged about 70,000 miles over 31 states. 31 yeah. states. We got to show them, show you, show you the magnets. The, the great thing about this is he actually uses it and he travels every summer and he's trying to get to every state in the United States. Correct. We started in 2006. We drove to Texas, my wife and I. Uh, in 2008, we drove from Southern California to Iowa. In 2013, we drove from California to Jackson, Mississippi, up the coast to North Carolina, to Arkansas, and then back home. And just recently, in 2018, I drove from California to Minnesota, to the headwaters of the Mississippi, and through North Dakota, South Dakota, uh, Wyoming, Montana, That's crazy. Idaho. Yeah, it was a good time. All on a stock seat. Yes. <laughs> yes. And you're not sure, you're like, what, six foot three, two? Six two. Six and two in a 45 truck. That's it is all stock. Yeah. Still got the column shift. Uh, we've upgraded. We put obviously like disc brakes, uh, extended range fuel tank, uh, the brake system. We've changed, swapped out the uh, gears from original 410s to 373s so we can do 70 miles Rody an hour. gears. Yes. Yes. But other than that, the drivetrain is, is basically stock, a 1F Toyota Land Cruiser motor. And uh, the Land Cruiser catch case is 4 to 1, right? That's correct. Yeah, get a, get a load of this now. No, you were just telling me before we started videoing oh. the, the chase truck. Go ahead. So in, no, in, in, in 2015, a uh, friend of ours, Justin Reese, who works, uh, who is the driver for Red Now Racing, uh, was, was going to be one of his last races at King of the Hammers, uh, his 10th anniversary. So we contacted him and he drives a mini truck. And we told him, you really need to have something special. So we registered the 45 as his official chase truck for the King of the Hammers race. And it was it was a lot of fun. It was its 50th anniversary. So the truck's 51 years old now, almost 52. And it just keeps going. It just it, it, just, it does what it wants to do, and that's just travel and enjoy. Drive, huh? Yeah, just drive. Yeah. It's like a cruise, right? Yes, they do. Yeah. Well, why don't you come in for the passenger side? Can I, can I sit in your rig? Sure. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh, this is This is not so bad. No, it's not. So you just gotta slam it. It's a Land Cruiser. Don't worry about it. Just slam it, brother. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yeah. Did you get all this on the mm -hmm. dash here? This is. I'm this guessing Kansas too, was one of your first. It's not events. too bad. No, it actually, you know, and then this last trip, I found this at a swap meet, but the hand throttle down there by the emergency brake, those came on diesel Land Cruisers. So we actually wired that up to the throttle. So now I have kind of a cruise control. So when I'm going across the flat states, I can pull that out and give my leg a rest. You know, when I'm, because the longest I've ever done in this, I did six. It was yeah, 600, 600. I've, I've, I've driven so many vehicles that has cruise control on it. I yeah. forget how yeah. your leg can go numb if you're trying to hold it in that one Correct. sweet spot for yep. hours and hours and hours. So we did 620 miles in almost 16 hours. That was the longest day we ever had in this. And it was, it was tough, but, but yeah, 
all the magnets are obviously tro trophies of all the places we've been. Mm -hmm. I'm kind of proud of this truck. Right on. Uh, the alligator came from a. So alligator now he has farm. more room up here. He has. <laughs> he ran out of magnets. Now you need to switch over to. Right. Uh, yeah, start doing. Yeah, getting the the Velcro. Velcro okay, strip. Okay, I gotta stop this one. This one. That one was actually a gift from a friend of mine who was stationed in Okinawa. We've helped out some of the guys in the Marine Corps over the years, That's and awesome. they they send me. I have this one, but I want that one. Yeah, that was pretty neat. Yeah. Obviously, we found this. You know, that old Smoky Bear from California. Yeah. And this came from actual Sasquatch Museum in Colorado. I was lucky enough to find, but. Uh, this is basically how the truck was when we found it. My wife made the seat covers, and uh, you ever want to? This is the first time in 2008. I was driving back from Iowa, going through Utah, and I didn't have a carpet kit in it, but I had these floor mats, and it was basically like 118 degrees. Oh my god! So if you look at the floor mat, that's where the the floor, the rubber actually started to melt and separate. That's how hot this thing got. It was awesome. Yeah, it was it was a great trip. Just slam it. It's yeah. It's a truck. No, it's just the way the doors have been uh actually kind of We'll edit all that out. Look, speaker's in there. So you added this two years ago because uh, yeah, a couple years ago we, to, we had wanted a, to get out of the trailer situation. Yeah, we had a trailer. With it, so. And, uh, so we we bought this in Texas at a, at a Toyota event. It's just drive it and enjoy it. That's it. You know? yeah. It doesn't matter what you got. Jeep, Toyota, Ford, Chevy. Yeah, there's so much to see. It's just amazing. Go out and explore. Yeah, yeah. If you got gas money. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Exactly. You know? Oh, what kind of gas mileage do you get in this thing? So, this last trip I averaged about 12 miles a gallon. Uh, real quick, I did 4,885 miles. I went through 407 gallons of fuel, and my average speed over 16 days was 43 miles an hour, if you average everything else. It was great. Awesome. A lot of waves. Yeah, hey, thanks, right. man. Glad to share it. God bless you. Got that out of the way. <laughs> Thanks everybody for showing up. I know the trail's been a little interesting. Uh, we've discussed with some of the locals. We're going to try to patch it up next spring and just have a build repair day and invite the fans to the camp. Pre crossing's gotten a little interesting. So. And I don't want to hear what you said. Although it was really funny. Yeah. <laughs> so it's not the creek crossing, it's like really 50 yards after that. That, um, one's, that one's interesting. See you next time. See you next time.
shot. Before we go. Before we go back to reality. So Gab, how was the trip? I sure enjoyed it. It was great. Great. Don and I are the last one standing. I guess everybody else were better campers. They know how to get up, pack it out. down the floor. I should have helped him, huh? Maybe he knows what he's doing. Is this trailer going to cheat? Oh, I better focus on the screen now. Huh. 
there he goes. But for a vintage four-wheel drive with 31s, it's probably a little tricky. There's a rock right there, so go passenger a little bit. You could climb it. Driver, a little bit. Here come the trailer. I don't think I'm gonna get a trailer. After watching this. It's really slow going. I'd rather have a, all my stuff on the roof. BDIM4BYAdventures.com